Hi everyone, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel. Today I have a Quilty Box unboxing for you. This is the June box. It came while I was gone. I was in Washington DC for a convention and if you're an American or you have interest in American history, you gotta go to Washington DC. It is really a great place. Came back exhausted from all the walking to monuments and walking in museums, it, but it was fantastic and I hope to go again maybe in April. So anyway, enough about that. I think you're here to see a Quilty Box unboxing. So let's start there. I've got all the tape undone except the last one. So here it goes. Let's see what's in it. It was probably all in here neatly and I've turned this box around so many times. So yes, it probably was. So here's my box. Oops. And there is, of course, the card on the curator and the what's in your box. And the curator is Heather Gavins. What a great smile she has. I don't know how well you can see these when I hold them up. It says she's a creative force, she's a fabric store owner, fabric designer, quilt designer, national instructor, artist, and art educator. She creates community wherever she goes. I can see that in her enthusiasm. Um, modern Quilter, it says Crimson Tate, Modern Quilter was born out of an obsession with creating non-traditional quilts from contemporary modern and repurposed vintage fabrics. Cool. She's a uh, Purdue University graduate of art history, art education, and fine art printmaking. Crimson Tate quilts are a good design coupled with an attention to detail and craftsmanship. She learned to quilt when helping her mother um, fulfill a 30-year dream of learning to sew. Wow, a 30-year dream. Great for them. Together, the two of them set out to quilt camp in the heart of the Midwest where Heather fell in love with fabric and many of us are that way, <laughs> texture pattern and an amazing sea of sewers who possess an endless wealth of sewing knowledge. Great. Today she designs for Wyndham fabrics, Wyndham fabrics, I can't put some lipstick on, now I can't talk. And she works on new pattern designs, uh, giggles contagiously it says, and teaches sewing with her energetic friends. Cool. With a um, in the hustle and bustle of downtown Indianapolis, Indiana. Never been there. So crimsontake.com. I'll put these in the video. And uh, she's got a Facebook, a Twitter, an Instagram, and Pinterest. <laughs> Love Pinterest. And oh, I'm not going to look at all this just yet. Let's take them out item by item. So the first thing I get is a mini quilt. It says, "Oh, this is instructions." see for it's called a correspondence mini quilt uh, says it's a 21 inch by 17 and a half inch mini quilt the materials needed are nine fat quarters embroidery floss two-sided fusible web and batting very nice look at my fingernails I desperate need of a manicure I cut them all off super super short and jagged very nice. Okay, the next thing, what is this? Oh, these are labels. It's called Story Patches. It says, Story Patches, every quilt needs a label. And it says they are 100% cotton poplin quilt labels. I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the back. It says they are ready to use quilt labels. Um, preserve your, qu your quilt story for friends, families, and future generations, and add every detail about your quilt through one tiny patch. I started to make a story quilt, a photograph quilt once, and I, I did um, like a log cabin out of uh, Batik's. Oh, in fact, maybe I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, and then I had done all these photo transfers to put all around the edge for my dad when he was in the hospital. I'm not a fast enough sewer, sadly, but I still have that centerpiece and I still have all the photo transfers. I wasn't that happy with them and that's probably one of the reasons I kind of drug my feet. Oh yes, it has, oh you go to the website 
and you have a 10 letter code and uh, that lets you uh, download and attach and I guess this is kind of a this is the label this is the quilt label for this because they both say correspondence mini quilt so when and if you make it then you and you want to give it to someone it's got the to and from so it's very nice oh let me see the, oh I forgot the value didn't I this uh, this mini pattern is six dollars and fifty cents and then story patches which I should put back in the envelope before I lose that Story Patches has a value of $6, and it says Story Patches are a great way to add a customized message to your quilt. This one was specially designed for Quilty Box by Heather Gavins. Yes, it was, because it matches the uh, mini pattern that was enclosed. Oh, I'll read that later. You don't have to watch that. And then there's apparently some threads. Yes, two threads. We have what appears to me to be a black and a blue. Although I am not good between black and navy blue sometimes. But this is more of a Wedgwood blue, I would say. And as far as this Aura Floss, two spools, they are $4.99 each. And it says Aura Floss is perfectly suited to stitching on all types of fabrics and is made with 100% long staple cotton. A brilliant six strand divisible thread may be used as purchased or one or more strands may be separated to create thread of various thicknesses. So this is um, going to be then an embroidery floss, basically. Yes, not a sewing thread. I can really see that in the blue. The black just is one flat surface for me because, like I say, I have a hard time seeing definition in black and whether something's black or navy blue. Thank you. Let's see. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, ooh, how fun is this? Tulip fabric markers. I actually don't think I have any fabric, fab, fabric markers. Again, I put on lipstick, now I can't speak. But if you look behind me here, you will see I have lots of markers in my little owl vase. But I don't have fabric markers. Even, they're, they're so festive looking. Look. Very nice. And there are six. I have the basic primaries and then green, brown, and black. And this says the tulip markers are six pack for $6.99 and these will be fun to use. I'm, my mind, I, instead of talking, I'm thinking, but um, it says tulip fabric markers will unleash your creativity with their intense vivid color. Whether drawing, doodling, or coloring, you can count on these easy to use, non-toxic fabric markers for true permanent color that lasts. Uh, use them to embellish your quilt with your own hand-drawn designs or write a message on your quilt labels for a personal touch. Very nice. Thank you, Quilty Box. And Tulip. And then finally, there's fabric. Yes, I do get excited when I see fabric. And this is so nicely packaged. I shouldn't open it, but yeah, right. That's going to happen. I'm tearing into it right now. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. This is, again, very nicely packaged. So, so much so, it doesn't want to let me in. Oh, there we go. Plastic off. And it has a little ribbon on it. It says Wyndham Fabrics. Look at the guys in the back. But, of course, I'm going to take that off. Go through each one. Somewhere. Let's see what it says about this first, though. It says, Paper Obsessed Fat Quarter Bundle. Value is $30. It says, Paper Obsessed by Heaven, Heather Gavins for Wyndham Fabrics celebrates the places where marks are made. From composition notebooks to paper airplanes and classic binder paper prints. 
Get into the spirit of handwriting letters and decorating envelopes with a collection that will make you nostalgic for the days of passing notes in class and doodling in the margins of your notebook. I've gotten in trouble for passing notes in class. Uh, great for a backpack or fashionable tote. Take a page from Heather's book and let your creativity run wild with this paper-themed collection. So, I'm just really animated tonight, aren't I? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done a video. So, $30, and there are nine fat quarters here, so let's take a look. And this does look like ruled paper. Remember the red line on the side of ruled paper? And it even has, I don't know if you can see them, but the little holes. That is very interesting fabric. I've never seen anything like it. And then next we have um, a tone on tone, or a white on beige. And it is, you will probably not be able to pick this up in the camera, but it has folded paper airplanes on it. If I've spent too long on that, I'm sorry. I just was hoping you would get to see it. Very cool. Again, like nothing I've ever seen before. And then this looks like when you do, um, is it International Mail? Or it used to be, there used to be something called Air Mail. Now I don't think we have that anymore. But with the um, red and blue stripes, it's enough to make you dizzy. <laughs> but that reminds me of that. Uh, and then these would be stamps. Oh, and it's got the paper airplane. Okay, on the back side it does. There's one of the paper airplanes, like in the tone on tone. It looks like a latte there. Very cool. And then this looks like computer letters. Oh no, it's writing. It says, oh, write letters to their neighbors and friends. Now is the time, now is the time for all good people to, now is the time for all good paper, people to write letters to their neighbors and friends. It's very small writing, but it's really a pretty color of blue though. It's uh, a turquoise blue. And then there's this one. Right now I'm, I'm not um, understanding the symbolism of the design, but I bet it has everything to do what it is, with the um, theme. And uh, I bet I'll think of it later after the camera's off. Same with this one. This almost looks like a tie. It's very cool. It's got gray, a lot of gray in it. And I think I've mentioned before that gray is not an easy color. Oh, there's more gray. Cool, because gray is not an easy color to find. Well, I used to believe that, but like this is the second or third box of quilty, of two for sure, that have had gray in them. So maybe I'm going to have to rethink that statement. And then I'll go back to saying, I think yellow. I think that's another one in my box that uh, I sometimes think it's a little short. And then here's a dark, a charcoal gray with that same stamp designs. It's uh, charcoal and blue. So there's really, I would say there's two colorways in here. However, I think you could really intermix them because this would go with this one. Yeah, it's very nice fabric. It feels so good. It um, really feels like high quality fabric. So. And uh, the only last thing in here, of course, is my card. So, well, thank you again, Quilty Box, for another month of um, nice fabrics, nice notions, um, and and for including something that I've never used before. That seems to work out that way almost every month. Before um, keeping my promise of showing you the log cabin that I was going to have a photo quote around the edges, I'm talking fast because my camera's running out of juice. So, here it is. Isn't it beautiful? It is, the fabric is just gorgeous. And it is um, one, two, not, uh, 12 log cabin, so you can kind of see the stitching in the back. It was just a wonderful fabric combination. I don't remember where I got it, because I've had it. My dad passed away in 2010, so I was probably working on it in 2009, because he passed away in January 2010. And I know I was working on it in the summer because I remember it was hot. So anyway, 
That's it. I just said I want I was going to share it, so I wanted to follow through.